welcome. My name is Bob. This is an awesome series we'll be starting about Bob's Book Buddies. Is that the most awesome title ever or what? <laughs> I think it's amazing. So, some of my friends have come and they're reading their awesome stories and we get to listen to them. You will have the chance, just like me, to listen to the amazing stories. So get something comfy, gather your friends and family, and take a look at our awesome series. Catch you later. Hi, my name is AJ Watson and I'm the Director of Information Technology. I'm going to be reading Dad's Toenail, written by Andy Watson and illustrated by Rob Marsh. One sunny day, Dad was cleaning up the yard before the family reunion. First he mowed, then he raked the clippings. Just when he thought he was finished, he noticed a gourd plant that he had missed with the lawnmower. Since he had already put up the mower, he decided to stomp the vine. He walked over to the plant and gave it a hard kick. Youch! Dad yelled. Pain filled his body, starting at his leg and moving up. Slowly, he limped back to the house. Later that night, Dad took off his boots and then very carefully his socks. Amazed, he called in the family to see his foot. When the family gathered around, they were shocked. It's sticking straight up, Jason exclaimed. It's yellow, shrieked Jennifer. Daddy, does that hurt? asked Allison. Yes, said Dad wearily, especially when it moves in the breeze. Later that night, the toenail turned green, fell off, and then turned its normal color again. The next day, Dad noticed the toenail in the bed and called to the family. What should we do with it? asked Dad. Throw that nasty thing away, Mom demanded. No, not yet. There has to be something we can do with it. I've been attached to it for so long, said Dad. Mom said, we are about to have a house full of guests. The family reunion is today. Okay, okay, maybe just for a little while, said Dad. All right, Mom said, giving in. The parents asked the children if they could think of anything to do with the toenail. Each of the children thought all day. When the rest of the family came over to visit, the kids also asked them what they would do with the slightly used toenail. The guests who didn't immediately leave thought all day as well. That evening, after a fine dinner, everyone gathered around the table to discuss their ideas for the toenail. Dad was first. He told the family how he could use the toenail as a fish scaler for his big trip to the lake, or as a back scratcher. In the winter, he could use it to scrape ice off the car's windshield. Finally, he told the family how he still had some popcorn stuck between his teeth since last Monday, and that his toenail would make the perfect toothpick. Mom was still not amused by the toenail business, but she did mention that the toenail would make a great carrot peeler. She also suggested that the computer keyboard needed a replacement key, and the key was about the size of the toenail. But even though she had uses for the toenail, she still wanted to throw it away. Jason happily told the family how he planned to teach bugs to surf on the toenail. Then he mentioned how they could save money by reusing the toenail as a dip scooper at parties. With the money saved, he could get the guitar he always wanted. Plus, he already had the toenail to use as a guitar pick. That is so disgusting, said Jennifer. Although I could replace the missing sequin on my prom dress, what am I saying? That thing is nasty. Maybe Granddad wants it for something. Like what? Mom asked. I don't know, maybe a replacement denture tooth or a bifocal or something? I can hear you and no thanks, Granddad piped in. Granddad told the family how when he was younger, he had heard of a cat burglar who had used a toenail in his robberies. The thief used the toenail to pry open locks and also to cut glass. It was very handy. He even kept it in a small holster on his belt until he got caught. 
Although he tried at least 10 times, he couldn't saw through the prison bars with any of his replacement toenails. The residual toe jam also wasn't enough for him to slide through the bars, so he just stayed in jail. My turn, said Allison. Allison told the family how she would use the toenail as a page marker for her books, and it would make a good frisbee for her hamster, Harry. The hamster could also use the toenail as a snowboard, or if dad was willing, with two toenails, Harry could have a pair of ice skates. You're not getting another toenail pumpkin, dad said, wincing. While everyone was listening to Allison, no one noticed Skippy, the family's dog, sneaking through the house. Skippy grabbed the toenail and ran outside. The toenail reminded Skippy of one of his toys. It was tough, chewy, and also a little smelly. <clears throat> As he gnawed on the toenail, Skippy thought about what he could do with it. If Jason painted it, Skippy could use it as an eye patch for his pirate Halloween costume. Or maybe the family could use it to replace the air hockey puck that he had chewed up last week. Skippy was still thinking of possible toenail uses when the family found him with the toenail. Yuck! The dog was eating the toenail, said Jennifer. We are going to get rid of that thing, exclaimed Mom. Let's bury it, said Dad, and everyone agreed. Later that evening, the family found a soft spot in the yard by the corner of the house and buried the toenail. One sunny day the next spring, Allison was helping Dad in the yard when she noticed a gourd vine growing in the soft spot next to the house. Daddy, where's the lawnmower? The end. Thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Ah, was that an amazing stories or what? Stories and reading just make my day. If you think you have a suggestion for a book you'd like to hear read, you can hit me on Insta at Battle of the Books 580 or Twitter at Bob Lawton 580 or Facebook at Bob Lawton. And would it be cool if everybody sent pictures or video of yourself while you're reading or listening to the story? Use the hashtag at Bob's Book Buddies. Hashtag me. Ha ha ha. Hashtag. That's a funny word, but I like it. All right, catch you next time. Keep reading and love the books. See you later, everybody.